you tell them what actually happened, Marcus, is you generated loads of pawns. One of them was me. Oh, and yeah, you Rick decided, got generated. So, you, uh... you just, yeah, so you decided to, to viciously attack me and kill me. And so all that blood is actually my in-game character brutally assassinated and I mean, then he, deleted he, off, he did look off at camera. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another devlog for Spacelog. Uh, today we have myself, Ricky McAlaure, and Marcus or Prajuno. Uh, we've got a couple of points to talk about. We're going to start out with the facelift of the menu system. Yeah, so uh, this update will probably be a bit higgledy piggledy because um, there's a lot of things that are not quite finished, so we can't fully show it. Uh, so we'll just try and blag our way through it, I suppose, and show what we've actually completed so far and, you know, a few things that we plan to do before the next uh, video update. But anyway, this is the UI simulation that Leon had kindly done for us and um, it shows some information on what we were lacking within the UI and uh, the kind of things that we need to do to make it better. So I tried to uh, enact upon that as best as I could and this is what we came up with so definitely a lot better than what we had before if anyone watched the previous videos or if you look at the screenshots on Steam or whatever you'll notice uh, quite a big difference if we haven't updated them by now that is yeah the, the general style of the game has remained the same but everything's just been kind of cleaned up a little bit and, uh, and sort of reorganized to make it a bit more intuitive and user-friendly so one of the things that you finished working on recently uh, was uh, the atmosphere and uh, getting like functioning atmospheres in the ships. So you've got, for example, life support units and uh, uh, different types of gases. So we have we currently have life support, and this will produce a certain amount of air uh, depending on fuel you give it. Uh, you can um, mod in various different gases. Uh, so uh, you can have different alien races if you like and you can supply them different gases um, which can all be modified via JSON files. Uh, so at the minute obviously we've got humans which just uh, breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. So with a life support system this will scrub a certain amount of gas uh, because obviously we don't want to be breathing in carbon dioxide. So this will scrub a certain amount of gas and it will also uh, produce a certain amount of oxygen. So here you can see it's producing 1,000 uh, litres per day, that should be. Um, which will then fill the room up. So if I actually, well, we're actually playing. So that should be, should be filling up as you can see. And underneath this guy just here, uh, oh, there it is. we have a small air vent. So you can see this is receiving uh, 1,000 litres per day. If I actually just bring this up, you can see the little pipe that feeds it there. So the idea is that we can pipe air around to different vents in each room, and this will actually pump in series. So it will fill the uh, first pipe, uh, first vent, sorry, until it's max capacity, until the room's max capacity, and then it will start filling the next one. Uh, we did do a poll in the Discord regarding uh, what kind of features people want for this. So either do we have some kind of um, pressure switch, pressure sensor to say when we should shut off the, uh, the gas to that room uh, or if we should have some kind of level switch or something. Um, so that's something we're going to be working on to add at some point in the future. Um, yeah. We do also have, I mean, you can see the artwork's not done for this yet, but we have larger oxygen generators. So the idea of the life support is for small ships like this. So you can support, you know, maybe two or three pawns on that one life support system. Yeah, de definitely one, two, maybe a little bit of resource juggling. Three would be doable, but you'd really have to think about, you know, regenerating the spacesuits and uh, the pawns and, and, working on resource management quite closely with that or look at upgrading the equipment if you've got two people on there and they both go out and deplete their suits down to like 10 percent they come back in if 
um, you don't do anything and their suits automatically start regenerating, that's almost the equivalent of having four people suddenly then in the room because the people are breathing, but also the suits are trying to take in oxygen as well. So you have mm-hmm. to sort of turn your suits regeneration on or off depending on what resources are available, you know. So that's why it adds, uh, adds another element to it. Yeah, to so consider. that's something we'll probably add here, like a little toggle or something to, uh, you know, say if you want to regen your suit or not. And we can yeah, also... Yeah, yeah, and the... Uh... i just take this off. All right, so... So this guy will, will um, well, actually he's okay because we've got oxygen in here, but if we had no oxygen in there, he'd now start suffocating because he's got no suit on. Uh, but you can actually see here the stored air in the suit, and we'll have a little toggle here as well to say if you want to auto-regen or not. Yeah, so, in, I mean, in theory, what you could do is have, like, a set room where everyone keeps the spacesuits and just have, you know, a couple of vents specifically in there so the suits can just sit there constantly regenerating and then when someone goes out they can put a suit on go out come back and you don't have to worry about the suit like draining all the oxygen out of his bedroom for example exactly yeah <laughs> while, so, while it's been away yeah. yeah so you could put a zone down and you could basically just you know this could be like for space suits right the space suit zone uh and then you could just select your spacesuits for this and just keep your spacesuits in there. So we have a larger ship here. So at the minute, we just have um, life support systems. Uh, and these will, these will supply each vent in the room. So here we have larger vents, uh, which can receive up to 2,400 litres per day. Uh, ideally, is what you want is to have a larger oxygen generator. Uh, in its own room, like we have here with the um, generators, uh, the power generators, uh, which can then supply more rooms. Uh, so for smaller ships, you want the small life support systems, which will supply one or two rooms, ideally. For larger ships, you'll have your larger generators, which at the minute we've got this one here, we may have larger ones too. Yeah, there's no artwork for that currently. It's still work in progress there. Um, and then you also have separate ox- uh, gas scrubbers. So if you have a larger oxygen generator, you have to have a separate gas scrubber. Uh, but these obviously do a lot more than what the life support system does. And the life support system has both inbuilt. Yeah, so it's, it's small scale. It's kind of like, a, kind of like just a, a cheap and cheerful, easy little thing to start out with um, before you go larger scale and then look at oxygen generation and, and air scrubbing separately um, and, and, and maybe zoning your ships out so you've got like you know life support and power generation and things all in in one area and then living in another and whereas when you've got a small ship you just have like bridge living quarters <laughs> and that's, yeah, that's exactly, basically yeah. it but uh, it's, it's also worth mentioning on on atmosphere um, that the Rooms will also take into consideration any breaches or leakage, so doors being opened or a wall being blown out. Uh, it will also look at the the volume of the room, the size of the openings, um, and pressures will start to balance out. So, in the case of a, you know an opening to space, then everything will just start dropping to zero because that's what space is at. Um, yeah, so that's that's something that's built in there as well. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, you could have enough oxygen generators in your room uh, if, you, if you've only got a small leak, for instance. So I think one idea we have is uh, we're going to be adding maintenance to the game. That's going to be like quite a big feature. So everything will need to be maintained. You'll have your health bar and possibly have a maintenance bar as well. Uh, well, as this maintenance bar goes down, you will probably start to you know get little cracks and stuff in your hull. Uh, which will then start to leak air. So you could negate that by having more oxygen generators in that room or within your ship. Um, but once that breaks down and you actually have a proper breach there, then uh, I think the vacuum of space will be too much to, you know, and it will just end up sucking everything out. So you need to be careful of that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, if if you've got like three large vents and a pinhole in the wall, then you'll probably get by for a while. But if that pinhole then turns into like an entire section of the ship falls off, then no, that's just going to yeah. depressurize the entire area. Uh, so, yeah, that's just another uh, avenue for strategic gameplay, I suppose, which I think is, is quite fun. I think that's pretty much it for the atmosphere at the moment. 
but this is something that will be worked on uh, over the next couple of months. So, so the next uh, devlog should be uh, fairly packed with you know all this stuff that has now been fleshed out. That's kind of half finished at the minute. So hopefully we can talk a bit more about it there and actually show things in action as well. Yeah, the um, the the next big project to be worked upon um, will be AI. Um, so that has started. So there's some bits that are done. Um, there's kind of like a, a framework. It's been decided what type of AI it's going to be. Um, and some basic parts have already been programmed in. Um, and one part of that that we can talk about that uh, is relatively interesting is uh, is dirt. Basically, each of your pawns, um, generally speaking, will generate a certain amount of dirt over a period of time. Um, so if they if they're in a in a room, then that room will get dirty, basically. Um, and if they're clean, but they move through a dirty room, they'll pick up some dirt and they'll carry it around with them and make everything else dirty around it as well. Another idea is that you can bring in viruses from different planets, uh, or if you go out in space and these viruses can then get embedded in this dirt, which your pawns will then traipse through and then spread around your ship, you know, which can <laughs> yeah. to various different uh, illnesses and you know other things so it's it's kind of um in your best interest to keep your ship as clean as possible in that respect obviously one of the one of the big things that um we wanted to concentrate on space log is uh relationships and and characteristics of the pawns uh, or the ship's crew so uh some of the some of the traits and personalities that they can have will maybe linked to cleanliness and dirt so there might be someone that's uh you know wants wants things nice and clean and if it gets too dirty then they'll start suffering a hit to their morale or you know you have someone who's extremely uh an extremely messy person so you could end up with quite a bad combination <laughs> if it's randomly generated yeah so there's quite a lot of potential for for some interesting situations to arise there uh, and i mentioned it briefly earlier about the jason poles and modding but just wanted to go over it again um i think we we talk about it every video but it is a big part of the game is that everything is moddable so pretty much every single aspect of the game is something that you can mod and and change and alter to your heart's content as soon as we're talking about things that we mention all the time i should probably mention to go and wishlist the game on steam and epic game store too which is something else we'll keep mentioning all the time yeah <laughs> yeah yeah well i think i think we pretty much covered everything we wanted to in this one i think uh, so yeah that's it. Well, thanks for watching and hopefully we shall see you next time. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye.